Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P, and this is Interjection 26. The interjection today is ditto. Okay, if somebody wants a screenshot, do it now. Let's get right into it. If someone says ditto in response to what another person has just stated, it means the same. So you're saying, well, like, that, that's the same, or I agree. All right, let's continue. Uh, it is also used to mean likewise. Yes, the same for me. Uh, and show agreement with what another has just said, or um, yes, I agree. So it's kind of like the same, I agree, I agree the same way. So this is basically how it's used. All right, let's continue. The origin of ditto is a variation of detto uh, and comes directly from Italian uh, or from dire in Italian meaning to say. Yeah, that's like the infinitive form of the verb to speak or to say. Uh, this also derived from the Latin dico, uh, meaning uh, I speak. It worked its way into English in the 1600s uh, in accounting and business language and was used to repeat words, phrases, especially in regards to dates. So especially when they were keeping records and they were repeating dates and stuff. I guess they just wrote ditto as like a repeat rather than repeat all the dates over and over again. That's one of the ways that, that it started to be used. And that's how it meant like the same, the same, the same. That's where it came from. That's how it got into English. All right, let's continue. Uh, and we have four examples to show exactly how this is used. Uh, in the old movie Ghost yeah, in the early 1990s, uh, the character played by Demi Moore, yeah, when she was very young, uh, would say, I love you, to her boyfriend, played by Patrick Swayze, you know, the famous actor who unfortunately has passed on now, um, would answer ditto. So in the movie, when she said ditto, you no, know, when, when she said, I love you, of course, she wanted the boyfriend to also say, I love you. But perhaps he felt a little uncomfortable saying the words, I love you. So he used to just say ditto. And this was at the beginning of the movie, of course, you know, and it kind of annoyed her because she really wanted him to just simply say the words, I love you, and he wouldn't do it, so he always say ditto. Now, this ends up being very important later in the movie because it was a movie ghost, and unfortunately, you know, um, they get robbed by a mugger. And I don't want to give you the whole story behind that, but he ends up dying, and he becomes the ghost, basically. And he's trying to contact her. You know, he uh, he didn't go on. He didn't go on to the light or something. When he died, he stayed. And he tries to uh, get in touch with the character played by Whoopi Goldberg, who was supposedly, a, you know, a type of a medium or psychic that she could, she could contact with the ghosts. And she tries to go to Demi Moore and tell her that, you know, that uh, the, this was uh, her boyfriend trying to talk to her. And, you know, for a while there, she was unsure, and um, she she thought that maybe a Whoopi Goldberg was just trying to con her or cheat her. And one of the ways that it confirmed that uh, she knew it was her boyfriend who was trying to contact her is because as she was walking away, uh, Whoopi Goldberg uh, was, was saying, you know, like, well, the, the ghost that Patrick Swayze was playing. He was saying, tell her ditto, tell her ditto, you know? And and Whoopi Goldberg, who wasn't really that familiar with the term we're using, this is ditto, what's ditto? But of course, this is what made the character of Demi Moore really know that it was truly her boyfriend, because other people don't didn't usually say this. Uh, and that's what convinced her completely that that was actually the spirit of her boyfriend. All right, anyway, let's continue. But um, let's go on. Yeah, so <laughs> you can understand from the movie. That's another thing you could say. Like, uh, you know, if you were that character in the movie uh, and you say, I love you to your boyfriend, your boyfriend just keeps saying ditto. Is that okay? <laughs> uh, would you be satisfied with that? <laughs> or would you also be like Demi, character, uh, Demi Moore's character and, and really want to hear I love you? All right, anyway, let's continue with the other examples here. Here's example number two. Um, I'm really hungry. So A says, I'm really hungry. All, all the rest of these are A, B parts. I'm really hungry. And B says, ditto. Let's get something to eat. Yeah, the same. Likewise. I feel the same way. Ditto. 
Uh, number three here. All right, so A says, I want to hear her tell more of the story. And B says, ditto. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's, let's wait. Let's encourage her to tell more of the story. All right, number four. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to go to the beach. And the B says, ditto. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Likewise, the same. All right, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Because this, this is common. This does come up. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.